episode here today. Uh, I'm your host, DB. With me, we have Brandon, Andre, and Wesley. Hello. Let's get to it. You seem so drained today. You do. You're sad. It's all that bad nine gag stuff you were reading before we started. You know what? I'm sorry. He just kept saying no me gusta and sound like a sad cat every time. Let's just get to it. Um, first up today, we got some PS PlayStation news. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, charity auction for the special edition PS4 that went for 128k. We're going to talk about the rebranding of Sony's digital media services and the recent outage of the PlayStation Network. And, so, and Microsoft. And Microsoft, which was done by the Lizard Squad. Uh, suspected we don't have confirmation at this moment okay so what do we have okay in order do not care not important and it happens that's what happens when you network every fucking thing things will break when the network breaks oh that sounds good okay next topic (laughs) nice really Really? no that's how you want to go networking i networking everything can be good but only if the infrastructure can support it. American infrastructure is broken, it's bad, and it needs to be redone, and nobody wants to redo it because it costs money. Well, considering most companies like that use the same exact servers, I can see why they're overloaded like that. Well, the thing is, is what, what they did was they brute-forced DDoS attacks on both servers. Sony had light protection and then claimed... That it was a bad update. However, according to this, it was a disgruntled employee who did it to them. Again, disgruntled employee. And the second, the Sony was being hit and they were claiming that, oh, well, Sony should be investing in DDoS protection. But seriously, if you're going to repeatedly DDoS and attack a server, especially if they're even trying to put some of that money towards things, because originally Sony's whole point was we want to release content we and originally like back when they first released ps3 they had to rebuild their entire network structure because microsoft came in and said no we own that and because they bought linux out from under them and then turned around and said now we own it you can't use it forcing sony to have to rebuild their entire network structure and granted it wasn't perfect but because of the whole licensing bs sony has what they have but now here they're being like, well, they should be having all this protection. Well, I'm sorry, they they had this. Uh, they're trying to focus on and balancing infrastructure with content, and you're expecting it to be perfect. Over my head. Well, I mean, it's okay, over my head. No, I mean, that I is, it's simple I though. It's simple. I understand the basis of it. I understand the basis of it, but a lot of that it just kind of. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say you have you have a set amount of money, right? Mm-hmm. You've invested, you've you've done your research, you've invested in infrastructure to build your system. You have people lined up who want to put stuff on there, and you have customers that want to buy it. Exactly. Then you have another co- company who doesn't like you because every time they tried to do business in Japan, remember we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Every time they did try to do business in Japan, they tried to be American in Japan, and it didn't work. So instead, they go, you know what? America, bitch, and then they slap their dick on the table and just ruin one third of the plan. So now you got to go spend extra time and money, but you didn't really allocate for this to fix it. And now that you've got it patched up and kind of working again, somebody else comes over, kicks the sandcastle down. Now you got now you have a whole bunch of pissed off people because now they're upset that the magic system didn't work. Because like like a lot of people, they just don't understand how it works. They just want it to work. They want the thing to work, and they get mad when it doesn't work. They don't care how, what the technical difficulties are. They just want it to work. A lot of people like grown-up four-year-olds in that way. Um, and I'm one of those. Sorry. <laughs> Train of thought is lost. And now <laughs> you've got to go, and now you've, got, you've already spent more money than you wanted to trying to fix this situation. Now you have to stop and spend even more money fixing it again. Yeah. And then they want you to now not only just spend money to just fix something that you want that was initially going to work fine but now is not working fine because you've had to patch it, replace parts, and put in suboptimal components. 
Now you got some some other jackhole running over there and kicking it down and going, "Hey guys, I've got an automatic sh- sh- no, sandcastle kicking machine." And anytime you get mad at them, just press this button, you'll kick the sandcastle down. Isn't that great? Yeah, lots of people's time and livelihood goes into making these systems, and then you're just going to wreck it because you're mad on a Tuesday. If you're fucking that upset, just don't bother with the service anymore. Let, it's like the freaking Amiibo thing. Oh, I hate Paulina. I don't want anybody else to enjoy her, so I'm going to spend all of my money... To buy all of the dolls I hate. So that nobody else can... What the fuck? That's just plain hate. Wait, somebody did that? Yes. Wow. That's just plain hate. And they... Okay, you would allow it because that's money. Well... But that is a retarded ass fucking reason. It's like the people who go on launch day. They go buy a system when they know that the system only has so many releasing. And then they go out to the parking lot when people are still standing out there. Take a sledgehammer smash it. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, well, just because they did that, it was their property. They shouldn't have, you know, beat them taste. No, fucking beat them. Because they're wasting their money and they're deliberately acting like asshats to hurt others. Emotional harm is still harm. And what are you going to do to stop them, though? Like, As he just said, beat and taser the fucker. You, if you don't care, if you don't you ca- if you don't them? care about the if you don't care about the product, leave the product alone. Let the people who enjoy the product enjoy the product. That's all you have to do. Don't actually have to do anything. These people don't really care about that. I mean, the guy from Lizard Squad was named Ryan. The reason he said that they brought it down on Christmas Eve because they wanted their families to spend more time together or whatever like that. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Remember the Crusades? That was about God, wasn't it? It wasn't about spices, gold, and trade contracts, was it? No, (laughs) sure it wasn't. It wasn't about the fact that Christians hated the Jews because the Jews used to pick on the Christians, right? No. It was about Jesus. He's got a point. Oh. Look at me, yeah, yeah. Look, everyone, uh, well, anybody who actually has a brain would know that the Crusades were not really that. They were really about upstanding power, showing that they had the bigger dick, and oppressing the people, and if you didn't want to play nice, they didn't care, they will kill you. No, it was about the freaking, the fact that the Muslims had better technology than the Christians at the time. Muslim technology, especially medical tech, was generations ahead of what the Christians were doing. They were still drilling holes in people's head to let the evil humors out and drinking deer poo tinctures. Yeah. Let's, let's stop it, please. Okay, All right. you're right. We really shouldn't be getting into <laughs> so, that subject. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the thing about the Nintendo partnership. Now, this is... A Recent bad news. plan that's never going to get anywhere because anyone with a half a brain will ignore the system and let it die. Well, who wants to explain it? Go, Andre. You seem to have a good grasp on it. <laughs> Basically, Nintendo has reached a point where they think that people who make content using their particular software should pay them a fee and let them look at what they're being, what they're making for beforehand. So here's how it works: if you make if you make products or content using Nintendo products, you have to sign up to be a Nintendo content provider. In which case, you have to then, when you make the product, you have to then submit it to Nintendo for review. That review can take up to three days. After the said three days, if they like it, they will put it on the. They will let you. They will allow you to post it on your YouTube channel. Once that is done, they will then take a forty percent cut if you're not a part of a channel of the content. They'll take whatever whatever revenue you make off the content. They will take a forty percent cut. That's right. 40. This is supposed to be their way. They're saying that it's helping promote content, but this is not helping at all. Like, something like this is only deterring people from wanting to make content. I I myself look at a lot of YouTubers that post Nintendo content, well, specifically DS content, and... It's going to be ridiculous. It's yeah, it's going to be ridiculous because a lot of them survive off of this. Like, that's what their channel mainly is. It's that Nintendo content. 
So doing well, this, it's right? essentially free advertising. If anything, if anything, people should be going to Nintendo saying, you need to pay us money so we have the funds to make this content that makes you look good. Because all of this is free advertising. Exactly. You Nintendo wants you to pay them to advertise for them. It's business, though. Anyway. No, it's fucking bullshit. It is, but at the same time, no, 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 no it's, it's not, not. It's not any sane business practice. That's like that's like um. It's like that's like you. That's like if you. That's like if you like Gatorade, right? So you make a skit proclaiming the virtues of Gatorade, and then Gatorade goes, "Hey, we see that you're advertising for us. We want you to give us money so that you can let other people know how great our product is." Or if you really want to look at it in another limelight, all those people that go out of their way to make a commercial for a company, the, the company's supposed to pay these people to make the commercial. Now, think of it as the company saying, you're making a commercial, but you have to pay me so that you can make that commercial, not me pay you. It's just, it's akin to the freaking Netflix Verizon file stupidity, where Verizon was throttling Netflix to um, paying customers because what they wanted was for the customers to pay Verizon to be able to access the internet and services on the internet. Then, they wanted Netflix to pay Verizon so that customers could continue to access Verizon services that they're already paying Netflix to, that they're already paying Verizon to access. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, that was the, honestly the real reason Netflix's prices went up in the first place. Was because they could not win the court case. No, they could win the court case, but the problem was, was that even oh, if right. they did win the court case, they would have been the damage would have to, to the point where the company would have went under. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot about that part. They would have won. They no, they did win the court case. They had to freaking, but they had to cave anyway because Verizon was a uh, large chunk of their customers use Verizon. So if any of y'all remember a time when you know you tried to access Netflix and it was you know just buffering 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 and you had Verizon files but it was just continuing to it buffer was Verizon, it's because straight. Verizon was throttling if you've ever tried to go to whitehouse.gov and the website refused to load that is because the your ISP was throttling the connection deliberately to force you to go somewhere else sopa hmm. remember that you know the thing you all let through no we didn't pass or did it one of the second one did. Well, did it? Mm-hmm. Mm. It, it was slightly worded just right where it was okay. They they killed the first one. The second one went through but did not have as much power as the first one. And now they're fighting to get net neutrality back in place. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go to something else with that. But Next one. What's your... Do you have anything about it? Oh, yeah, because I, yeah, I kind of steamrolled over that mm-hmm. one. <laughs> no, um, the whole Nintendo thing. Yeah, no, Nintendo itself, their whole platform. I, th- I do agree with you guys. I think that it's um, a bit silly to charge people for that advertising. I do try to play a little bit of the devil's advocate, though, and try to see the logic behind it or why. It's hard to. It's hard to play devil's advocate when, when you, what you're trying to convince somebody to do is stick their dick into a pool of acid. Okay, yeah. You know what? Next topic. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's jump around a little bit because I know we don't have that much on left for this. But let's talk a, a little bit about... Um, recently we heard uh, this will be made uh, Monday, February 2nd, 2015. Uh, we recently found out that Monty Um has uh, passed away. He died um, in the hospital. He went into a coma from an allergic reaction that he had uh, in his sleep. The doctor's done fucked up again. Uh, we uh, are found Monty Um. If you don't know him, he was the creator of the um, Red versus Blue series and also of Ruby. And he also made a uh, Dead Fantasy. The Dead Fantasy uh, fight kind of simulation Animation. animations. So, um, personally, I remember watching him when I was uh, like years ago with Dead Fantasy, and man, his stuff was awesome. And as far as the Red versus Blue, I remember those as just hilarious things. What did you feel about them, uh, Brent? I'm just sad to hold the. Uh... Another great mind is lost to the world. I mean, 
Look at all the people we've lost in the past year alone. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it with some faff. I'm just mad Ruby Season 3 isn't coming out. Cold. You know what? That's, I was but, trying not to go there. It's gonna. I'm going to be straight honest. I don't know the man. I don't even... He could be a wife beater for all I know. Yeah. All I know is that I like what he did. And from what... From what I hear and from what I like, from what you read to me and what I heard, is that it's an allergic reaction caused by a checkup when he went to the doctor. Lots of PR saying you should go to your doctor, or get checked up, and then you hear stories like, "Oh yeah, this guy went to the doctor and got an allergic reaction from something he didn't know he had and died. He would have been fine if he didn't go to the doctor. Because he did, he's now dead." And we lost another great mind. And for all we know, the person just didn't pay attention to the charts and gave him something he was allergic to. Yeah. Because, frankly, an allergic reaction is a very short, quick thing. And for I did. most of you that aren't aware of it, if they injected it into him, it was probably no longer than two hours yeah. prior to it. I thought that somebody, uh, well, yeah, like you said, somebody wasn't paying attention, but you have so many things when you go to a hospital now where it's just like you have to sign paperwork. The doctor has to review it. You know, the, it's like they set up a system where you think it, it wouldn't fail, but um, apparently it still does. It's because Quite still, frequently. Yeah. There are people out there. It's not that it's, it's designed so that it wouldn't fail, but the people themselves, there are instances where they just don't care. They're either really tired, really exhausted, and they just want to get it done. In any case, like I said, Ruby Season 3, not going to happen now. Creator's dead. Anything they put out is going to be tosh. Mm. So, just... Next. Unless he wrote down notes yeah. for it. Well... Even if you wrote down notes, it's not still not... It's like, right, it's, it's, like not if you read the, it's, it's like if you read the original Wheel of Time and then you read the ending. Yeah, the guy can make a good attempt at, you know... you can, The guy can make a good attempt at keeping the same tone and pace... But it's not the original author, so it's not going to be the same tone. You're pitch. right. You're right. I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, we'll be back for more coming soon. Bye. Bye.